In this video, we're going to be starting the PMP application and we're going to input, in, we're going to be inputting two of its parts. It's, we're going to be inputting the formal education and the 35 hours. We'll keep the experience part for another set of videos. So the first thing you want to do is you want to be able to go to PMI.org and create an account. So let's go check that out. So here I am. Now this is PMI.org. I haven't logged in. I haven't done anything yet to it. And, um, the first thing you're going to want to do when you come to this website is you're going to click register because you want to create an account. Now, if you have one already, just log in. You're good. So we're going to say register and you have to fill out your information. Now, this is pretty straightforward stuff. Your first name, your last name, your email address, the country that you're living in, the company name. Now, if you don't have one, you can just put none. Which of the following best matches your job title? So you can go in here and select whether your program manager, your project manager, your management, your executives. What year were you born? I actually don't like this field. I'm not sure why PMI wants us to know the year we were born. The only thing I can assume is because they don't want, maybe there's an age limit to the certification. I'm not sure if there is. Uh, how, how many total years of full-time work experience do you have? You have to put that in there. How many years of experience do you have managing projects uh, that last over four weeks? If you have Longer projects, put that in there. You can select the number of years. Well, which best describes your view project management as it relates to your career? Which best describes how you view project management to your career? Maybe it's my profession. You can put that. Maybe you are a full time. Uh, maybe it's one of the skills. Uh, does your organization have a PMO or a group devoted to project management? Yes or no? Uh, what is your primary focus right primary organization focus what is it that your company does pretty self-explanatory and the area of focus then you have to put in your password that you want to do and your security question that you want to keep answered you know these are pretty common stuff and you create the account now once you've created the account you're going to have to log into it now i've already done that with another browser i've already logged into it and we want to start the application now to start the application um, now, I've already started, but to start it, you would have gone to certification. We're going to go to uh, overview here, so, uh, certification types, and then we're going to go down to PMP. So once I've gone here, and uh, now it says your application, because I've already submitted it, you're, you're not going to get this. You're going to get a part that says apply for certification. Um, if you have done it already, and you are doing it like I'm doing it, you just click go to my PMI, which is going to be at your dashboard, and you're going to say continue your, your application. So that's what I'm going to click on because I've, I've entered some of it already. So it's coming in here. It says application status, my PMP. You know what? Let me make this page bigger so we can see it. Uh, PMP status is pending. I'm going to say continue working on it, and let's pull it up. Okay, so it's launching the application. Let's go take a look at it. So I told you that we're going to be input, and I've already input the experience, the education part, but I want to go back and I want to walk this through with you guys. So when you come here, you're going to have to input. Now, I've already done it, so you're going to have to do it. So it's going to tell you, hey, you want to input your academic education and your professional education. So let's see what the fields look like. So when you come to add it, it's going to ask you, what is your highest level of education? So you're going to have to put that in there. Bachelor's, master's, high school diploma. We're going to have to go ahead. I, I just put bachelor's degree. Then you have want to put the years that you attended it. So you're going to have to make sure that you put uh, the start date, the end date. Maybe it's a four-year degree. You put four years in there. What country is the, <clears throat> what country is the actual application in? Mm, Self-explanatory. Select what country it is. And the name of the college. I just called it name college. All right, just put the name of the college there. Remember, this is a fictitious application. It's not real. Just doing this to show you how to do it. So you would put the name of the college in here. Uh, and then the field of study. Once again, pretty self-explanatory. Whatever it is that you were studying, just go ahead and put it in there. And then you would save it. Now, remember, based on how what you put in here is how much months it's going to tell us we need of experience. So if you put something like a associate degree or you put a high school diploma it's going to take me 60 months in the next screen now comes professional education now these professional education is what you're doing for your 35 contact hours your 35 hours of this class so i've already done it it's going to actually for the course title so we're going to put pmp exam prep 
Now the provider name, TIA Education Group is what you're going to put. And uh, now remember, it could be whatever school you've been to. You don't have to be TIA. It could be whatever school you've been to. You would just put the name of that school. You put the, the, the uh, course title. And uh, you're going to want to make sure that you put in, you know, when you started it, it doesn't take days. It just takes months. So I say December to December 2020. Self-explanatory. Just click the boxes. And then you got to put in the qualifying hours. Now, this is the part that gets tricky, right? Because you want to make sure that the certificate that you're getting from whatever provider that you're getting, you want the certificate to say 35 contact hours on it. It must say that. You know why? Because if you're audited and you submit it to PMI, PMI is going to be like, how do we know this is 35 hours? So you want to make sure it says it on whoever gives you the certificate. Now, the next thing is do not submit this application without completing your 35 hour class. If you do that and you get it approved and audited and you have to submit your certificate, you wouldn't have it to give it to them. And then the certificate may say that you finished it in March and you put your finished it in December, you start to have problems. That's technically lying to PMI. It's against their terms, obviously. So don't do that. When you finish it, then put it here. When you finish to, when you finish your course, you have that 35 hour certificate, then you're going to put it in here. Okay. So once we have inputted that there, we're going to save that. Now I do want to point out something to you also. Once we save it, I don't want to point out something that just crossed my mind is if you have multiple classes, this doesn't have to be one. Maybe you did some college classes. One of them gave you 10, one gave you 20, one gave you five. You can then just keep adding it. Now we don't need to keep adding in on this application because we have met the 35 hours. Notice it just checks it. Once you meet their requirements, it stops. They're like, they're like, hey, you don't, don't input anything else more. You don't need that. We're going to say continue to experience. And now comes the long part, the big part of putting in the actual experience on it. And you can see all these fields. This will keep for another video. Okay. So that was this part here of filling out the application. I showed you how to make an account. I showed you how we can start the application, how we can fill out our formal education, how we can put in our 35 contact hours. And now we're at the big part of the application where we got to start putting in the months. You know what? Let me just show you one more thing. Uh, just keep in mind, mine says zero of 36 months. Why? Because I put a master's degree. If you had put a bachelor's degree, it would have said zero of 36 months. Also, you put anything under that, an associate's degree, a high school diploma, it would have said, okay, zero of 60 months, not 36 months. Something to keep in mind. Okay, hopefully you're going to get started and get this. Okay, hopefully you're going to get started and get this done as soon as possible. And let's keep going into the application portion of the actual, the experience portion, I should say, of this application.